no, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So let's claim our rewards. And so we have the license for the mining cannon. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Look at that. So that's a whole chunk with a hundred percent yield. Look, you can totally uproot an entire tree, including its roots. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're back playing Terra Tech Worlds. And for today's main mission, we have a couple of things that I want to do before we kind of start heading off to the snow biome and start heading down to that little volcano crater in the center of the giant mountain area over there. And one of the things I wanted to do is come to the original base that's in the forest area, right where we're at now. And I needed to kind of maintain this place a little bit because I have been neglected, ne neglecting it and spending so much time over in the snow area trying to get you know our, our little guy built up over there to be able to survive really well. So what we ended up doing in the last episode is we built a new little battle mech and he is over here. Is this, is that him? I don't even know. I think that might be, no, I named it actually. So let's see, where, where is the guy at here? Nope, that's not it either. So I saved it. Maybe it's not in, does it show up over here? If I'm at a different, if I'm at a different place, does it show up? Because I named, I gave it a description and now I don't see it. So that's kind of odd. So maybe we can only retrieve it when it's over. Oh, there it is, Oz Tank 01. And so this is like the new battle tank to go and explore the snow biome and, and try to actually survive over there. So we'll do that coming up. But what I wanted to do first is come over here to our little launch pad and I needed to launch some resources off to get some of the, more of the little block bucks that this thing gives you. And also it gave us another task right here, which I have it almost filled up again. Of course I need the red dang phosphorus stuff. And now I need some more of this nobium stuff. So I need to go back to the swamp area to get some of this. And I think that's where we get it, over there. So I need to go over there anyway and see what we have. So I'm bringing my little uh, anti-ox gel sprayer and some little anti-ox gel, I guess. And we'll see how that works over there. And I'm bringing another fragmenter because I think my other one got destroyed somehow or something happened to it. I think dang lightning hit it. I need to bring those lightning rods around with us because it, if I don't have one at the base, then when I come back, it's got holes all in it. So kind of crazy. But since I've already launched off some of the some of these little rockets off in this launch pad, I ended up getting some more of our little Robux block. Ro I want to say Roblox. I don't know why. Block bucks, I guess, is what they're called. And so if you go to the Blockopedia, you can see these are where you can spend your block bucks. And I have 760 now, so I just got like another 250 a minute ago. And if we go to our current objectives, this is what I did here, or no, I did another one. Why does it say novice now? Oh, it's down here. Here's the advanced one. So I did a couple of these advanced ones. This one gave us 150. And then this one right here gave us another 150. So I guess I got like 300 out of that just a minute ago. And then we, we ended up getting like a license for the uh, magnetism scanner, which I've tried using this. I don't know what that does. I, I think these are for some later game updates that may be coming our way. But uh, now we have this new thing here that I would like to go and get, which is a cannon, a mining cannon. Now it says whip, which I'm guessing is work in progress. So this may or may not be functioning. And I would like to, to get this and see if it's actually working or not. But anyway, so this is kind of like, if you guys have been wondering like how, you know, I get certain things or how I ended up, you know, getting like a new cab or new, new, you know, whatever to, to build over here. Like, you, you know, we have all these cab options, which I don't even have all of them yet. There's still more to get. You end up getting them when you launch a rocket off and you get, you go and you collect your rewards for that. And then you'll end up with some new stuff. So let's head over to the forest area. And as you guys may have probably noticed, I've built yet another vehicle. And this one is just kind of super streak streamlined and it's mainly just built for speed. So let's take a little look at it real quick. Cause I know you guys are really interested in some of the vehicle stuff. So let's check out this guy. And I've kind of realized that going with more, if you're running these bigger tires, at least, maybe this works for the smaller tires too, but the bigger tires, if you go with more than 
the normal four and you add another set of tires, then you're able to carry more weight. And so you have a little bit more acceleration and a little bit more final speed because you're able to carry more mass on your vehicle. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it's doing, but that seems to, to make sense to me. And what I've done here in this case is this guy has one rocket launcher and I have all of these little amplifiers and these are turbo amplifiers. So instead of using the ones that amplify the power, these are giving us a, or modify the, the, pow the power. So before I was using the amplifiers to modify the power output. And, and I guess the destructive capabilities of these. So I decided to switch it up and I put the turbo modifiers on here. And these are just those little weapon mounts that uh, you can use to pass the modifier onto whatever it's mounted to. And it adds a bunch. So we're added, you know, 16 plus 16 on a turbo. So now this thing fires a lot faster. And so even though it's not as powerful, it, I can fire it a lot quicker and it gets to the target a little faster it seems and then also I've put the same little turbo things on all of the wheels so now all of my wheels have a plus 12 on the turbos for these big guys and I just have a, a little axle for my frame so I'm using two axles where are they yeah, there's one right there, the Trailblazer Axle, which has a plus two on the turbo also. So that's adding an additional two. And I have another one there and then one in the middle with some little connectors there and then more turbo deals there. And then I put this cab on because I don't have to worry about adding armor to it because it's a thousand on the uh, hit point armor. And so it's able to take a lot of damage more than most of the armor pieces actually. So this is actually the strongest thing on the vehicle. But, but I put one little armor piece in the front and I, I've kept it pretty lightweight so that we are all within the reactor capacity and we're able to heal up quickly. And since I don't have any weapons that take power, we don't have to worry about power usage. But I am going to grab, if I have it over here, hopefully I do, I'm going to add one more thing to our inventory, which I don't see that I have it. So I'm probably going to have to make it. I need to make the little tractor beam thing so let me let me do that um, but this little guy he's pretty quick so as we can see you know like he gets he scoots pretty good doesn't slow down for much jumps over everything and just as a normal speed it's 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 pretty good it can steer a little better but other than that you know it's it's pretty good so now let me make a couple of things here and then let's head off to the the uh, swamp area. All right, guys, so got my little tractor beam and now we're gonna head off over to there. I got a ton of rocket ammo and all kinds of various other little things. So we're just going to, you know, do some damage on the way over there. Get some people, I'm not gonna really slow down for too many people here. And we're just gonna go straight to the swamp area and see how fast we can get over there. All right, guys, so we are here at my little mini base over here. And I really should have probably put a large storage container on because I am lacking. We're gonna need one of these down. So one of those got destroyed. And then I have this little guy here. I guess sprays us or something. So I think we'll put this like there. And then I've not used this before, so I just put it in there and then what happens? Interact with it? Did I hit the button? I don't know. How does this work? How do we make this work? Do we just run up to it? It's... Oh, we need power. There we go. I forgot we didn't have any power in this joint. And let's get some power over here. Power over here. I really need to move this thing somewhere. Because I don't think, I think I've gotten all the resources from over here. Let's, okay, I guess we have to turn the power on. Restore grid. Oh, there we go. So is this supposed to do something to us? Spraying. What is it doing? Um, it's spraying. I don't know what it's doing. Is it doing anything? Just, is it just wasting it? Man, I feel like it's just just wasting it. It's counting down. 
I need to let it go. Let's just oh, let's take that out of there real quick. Maybe I guess that's used to like clean us or something. I I really don't know. And if I go into this stuff over here, are we protected or? We are. Wow. Okay. So do we have a? Are we just normally protected or what's going on here? That seems a little weird. Okay. I don't know. I'm not getting corroded, so that's good. All right. Let me. So one of the other reasons I wanted to come over here too was that there. Someone was telling me there's like another weapon place over here or something like that. So I kind of want to go and explore more further into the thing. So when the sun comes up, I think we'll do that. And I think from now, I am going to do some mining. So let's put this just right there. And then let's put this on. Okay, so I have mined every little plant and exploding flower thing in the whole like west side of the swamp area over here and I have now collected all the resources we need to get the special I'm gonna say it's special because I don't know if it actually works or not or not where, where, where is the thing at the uh, objectives so let's look here at this thing so when we get back we're gonna do some exploring in this forest area next but on our way or on our way out and through our exploration we'll end back up at our base and we're going to launch off this rocket and we're going to get this special mining cannon now it says work in progress or whip i don't know if that's just the way it is or if that actually means it's a work in progress but we'll see what we can find out with it because i don't see it anywhere in the blockopedia thing but yeah, so let's just start out on our little journey here. I'm not sure which way to go. If I should go that way or this way. I've been doing most of my stuff over here. And I think I'm going to go this way. Or maybe we'll just go straight through. I don't know. I wish we could zoom in and kind of navigate around this map. And that it would show us kind of where we've been and haven't been. You know, that'd be kind of nice. I have a somewhat like a, you know, the little fog of war little blackout on maps and stuff to show you where you've been and haven't been and stuff so I don't know so anyway let's do that now one thing also let's go here I'll hit this and I did make some changes to my little rover guy and on the bottom I've added two more wheels now these are like the I think the fastest wheels that you can get they don't really have a lot of traction or if any traction but they do add a little extra speed boost and our little rover guy is all within his limits and everything so we're only like seven points over on the uh, uh, reactor capacity, but not a big deal. So we're gonna we're gonna you know speed around with this guy and see if we can not die. That would be great because I do I do not have any armor except for this little chunk, and did upgrade my gun. Although you know what I'm gonna take that off because that gun is not going to move around. We'll put we'll put this gun on and use this one. So we'll do that, and then let's go here, I change, wait, what am I doing? Is this it? Let's get our color scheme all mixed back up. So I added two wheels, and we ended up getting, you know, end up getting all the resources I needed. So we have a good amount of phosphorus, and it's refined, I went ahead and refined it. And then we have this tant tantalum, and then neobium, whatever, however you say that. And I'm going to just put this gun right there. And that's all that we need for this thing. We need 75 of our... I actually already have our rocket loaded with everything but the Neobium. Neobium? <laughs> can't get over saying that word. So, so yeah. Uh, now, our little guy, he is pretty quick now. So, we can see. And I know I'm going the wrong way. But I wanted to show you guys something. With adding these two extra wheels. Oh, I can see there's a rock there. The sun went down. Now, man, like doing some mountain climbing is just like a piece of cake now. So if I go right here, I mean, that is almost straight up. Like we just take this little ridge right there and just from a dead stop, you know, oh, stop rolling, stop rolling backwards. Oh, okay. So it's so steep, I just start rolling. 
But, I mean, this is, like, pretty steep. You know, it's about as steep as it gets in a game. And look at this. Watch this. We just, from a dead stop, just wherever. I can just cruise wherever we want to go. You know? And just hang around on the mountain. And, you know, just, I can keep on going. Oh, come on. You know, he'll start back up. And then we can just go straight up. Like, look at that. I mean, oh, he doesn't have, like, it's almost enough, like, you can't really stop. You need a little bit of momentum. There we go. So, see? Man, that's pretty crazy. Look at that. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's insane. So, and we're quick. So, we're all good. Also, something else. For whatever reason, I my thing is not getting, like, messed up or in this acid goop or whatever you want to call it. And I do not have any of that stuff on, like, the the anti-gel or whatever. Like, I didn't... I mean, I used it the one time, and it didn't seem to really do anything. So, I don't know. Usually when I bring all my other vehicles over here, they just start melting down like crazy. And, you know, it gets all bananas. Oh, hey there, buddy. Let's not get exploded already. So, we'll just use our rocket there. Nice little rocket, keeps them back. Oops, missed. There's somebody behind him. There we go. Come on, stop messing with me. Alright, so he's disabled. Alright, we're just going to cruise around here while my thing heals up. I think I have everything. I'll just come over here and try not to hit any of those bouncy plants. I may grab a few things. We'll see some little flowers or something like that. I may take those out. But even over here, I've like cleaned out all of this stuff over here as well. So there's not any resources over here. There are some big giant little acid flower things that shoot a big acid cloud out. And those are gone. <laughs> so now I think I want to go over this, this hill. So let's just go up here since we can do this kind of stuff. And then I want to see, like, oh god, there's a lot of plants right there. So there, there, someone was saying that there are, like, a, there's a new weapon or something over here. I, mean, I don't know if it's new, but it's something I don't have. So let's just go down. Oh, don't, don't break. Dang. But yeah, let's just go this way and try not to hit any of these bouncy things. And just cruise along here. Let's see what we run into. Oh, there's a flower. Death flower thing. Go down here. I wish I could, like, navigate up. Oh, there's those flowers. Wow, there's a bunch of them over here. Let's take these guys out. Let's see his turn a little bit. I gotta be on right. Look. What is my... Oh. I was like, what the heck happened to my weapon? We'll fire this off. Get this guy. See what he gives us. Pretty sure he gives us phosphorus and mainly carbon. So there he goes. And what do we have? Yeah, yeah, he gives us a good amount of phosphorus. So that's good. We're going to take these guys out. I like these guys. Oh, there's that acid. Oh, yeah. By the way, I, in the acid stuff, doesn't hurt me. So how crazy is that? Oh, they're not. I almost shot myself. So like my guy is not taking any damage at all. And did I do something special or something? I mean, it does it that stuff only affect like the chassis, you know, like the frames. I don't know. I just I'm a little confused. Cuz every time I've been over here, I have to navigate around this stuff and it's quite the pain. So I was really hoping that the anti-gel stuff was gonna help us out which I mean I guess it would have but I don't even need it let's grab this stuff here Ooh, those those little mines definitely like the little mines I've pretty much taken out a million little mine things everywhere little mine flowers there's some more sometimes you get lucky and you hit one and like the whole bunch of them blow up I don't know what does that specifically, but I like it when it happens. So let's just grab everything over here. Grab 
that one. And then I just, you know, the phosphorus is such a rare component right now. It is probably the most difficult. Go. Oh, probably the most difficult thing to get in my it, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, just roll right over them. That's one way to get them. So, all right, let's just get out of here. And I think so behind me is like, which way are we going? We're going west. I don't see. Maybe we'll just go up to the left over here on the map. Watch out for these things. Let's go this way. Really have to watch out for oh 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 those guys right there. Okay. Can't even crawl on the walls because these little bouncy plants are all over the walls and things. Alright, we're just traveling right through all of this. And hopefully I don't start getting all corroded here. Just run by those guys. I like faster than everybody. Oh, there's some dudes right there. I'll just hop over here. Come on. Get oh god dang. You're gonna tear me up. Come on. Oh. Watch out for those things. Okay, take him out. Okay, you go away. And oh, okay, man. Even these little flowers there—they look like the bouncy things. Okay, so we are back over in a little cove over here, like a little bay area. Let's look on our map and see. I don't see anything super interesting. So we're looking for something that looks like we, where we get a cup. What is that? Let me see what that is real quick. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, right there. Um, so we want you to go up to the left over here. But now that we're faster, we can kind of zip around. Let's we'll stay out of trouble. We uh, heal up. Let's see. Okay. That looks cool over there, but nothing different. What is that over there, I wonder? Should I have gone that way? That's another mountain range. Well, don't know. So we're going to travel this way first. And turbo around this corner. All right, we're back at a bay area. Oh, I, man, I think I've actually been over here. I think, just, I think we just went around our deal. So let's see if this looks familiar or not. I think it does. Did I just make a big old loop? I did. This is where I've been mining. Okay, I think I know where to go. So let me let me go backtrack a little bit. I think we needed to go on the other side of that little cove, that little bay area where I was just at. Alright guys, we are back at this little bay area, so we're going to go this way. And that looks like a big old mountain range. I wonder, can I climb up that? What does that look like on here? Let's check out what's up here. So we go around. You guys leave me alone. Just climb right up this bad boy. Oh, death flowers. Not to hit any plants. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go away. So, maybe, maybe at the top up here. How about this? How about we drive to, to the top of this thing if we can? Navigate. Oh my god, are you kidding me? God, I really hate that. Barely tap a rock and my whole wheel falls off. Gotta be careful. Only these wheels can take a lot of punishment. Is there anything up here? Ooh, 
definitely don't want to get launched off this thing. Whoa. Okay. Let's go this way. Watch out for any flowers. And any little... Oh, jeez. Oh, there... Get away from that thing. There is a base over here. Let's stay away from those Pop-Tart things. Oh, my God. What the heck? What was that sound? Oh, my God. What was that sound? I just heard some weird sound. Oh, no. We gotta back away from these guys here. We need a... Oh, we need a safety zone. That's not safety. All right, we have to clear out space here so I can function. So that, so this is like a little bot base, a little mech, mech bot base. Man, it's pretty cool looking. Should take over one of these bases and make it my, wow, it has two of these things. So I don't really know what to do with these. I actually have a couple of these at my base. And what I do is I just explode the, the base that it's sitting on. Let's see if this will do it. Yeah, see it starts to turn red. See it just falls down. And then I can actually go collect it. But I don't know if that really does much. Let's see, can I take out these guys over there? Yeah, could if I could aim. Alright, so we'll take out this. So I guess this keeps because once I take this over, then I can actually take everything out. Like if I try to go here and try to remove parts of this base, I can't, it won't let me. But once I remove this little enemy, I don't know what it is, like a little territory beacon thing, then now, like I can actually come over here and I can just, I can literally, you know, take their base apart and take it for myself. So now they have this thing right here. Oh, is that a new chassis? Oh, that is, that's the armadillo chassis. The armadillo chassis. So some of you guys were wondering like how I get some of the chassis. Well, it's either from launching those missiles or it's from finding them in places like this. There is a new wheel. I mean, it's not new. I have some of those, but not a lot. I don't see these very often. If someone was saying you can use these to keep the acid off of your vehicle. Maybe that's why I'm not getting you know, attacked by the acid because my vehicle's lifted up a little bit. But I'm going to keep that frame. That's that's a cool little frame, and I, I don't have one like that. Now, wait, there are more here. So I'd like to take more, but I really I don't think I can. That's the qu quake grenade line. <gasps> what is that? That's the meteor turret. That is what someone told me to look for. Whoa. Okay. So... We have plasma ammo. What does it fire? It fires heavy ammo. Okay. And I have rocket. I guess we're just going to put some of this little whatever. Let me get out of this real quick. And let's just put this, make a little pile over here of stuff because I don't have a lot of storage, unfortunately. But that's the purpose of this little rover is so that, you know, we don't need to bring the big battle tech mech thing out. And this guy can get in and out of places and do it pretty good, it seems like. I don't know, this is our first test run with this new design. I kind of like it. These guns, I already have two on my thing. So let's grab, man. So I've already collected a bunch of this red stuff already, so that's good. So let's grab this. I, I may take that, those are kind of handy. Um, like these and let's just go into this mode and what we'll do is we'll just put this in our inventory and it should pop everything out of the I guess it fell down on the ground yeah it's right down there dang it all right so what's in this one we already looked in there okay so let's grab all of this go ahead and get this thing too and we'll put this in our inventory I love taking all the silos oh my gosh hey, more of that some of that. Man, I should have just come to this place. Some gold. I really don't need copper. I don't need iron. I don't need even that. So we'll just take this and just chunk it in there. And then now there should be another chest flying around. Okay, so are there any other little silos around? I didn't see any other ones. 
Stick around over here. Okay, so we ran up this hill. Oh, god dang. Bust off, man. Okay, so there's mechs over there. So let's go this way. I wanna look over here on this side. This looks like a place we can go down. Oh, except for, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I literally just blow a wheel off again? Good grief, I sure did. All right, we'll just cruise around with one less wheel. We'll just go this way. So is this where I, is this where I swim in? No, no, it's not. It can't be. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, I was about to get really like, how did I not see that place earlier? Oh, I'm missing one wheel. To be a little extra careful. Oh, flower. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of flowers. Oh gosh. Oh. Back up, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, get the heck out of here. Flip around, dude. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I am like stuck and, and not going very f Why am I so stuck? Holy cow, my guy is steering all weird. Dude, back up, go. What is he stuck on? He's not going. Okay, what in the world? What the heck? It's... Settle down. <laughs> all right, I lost some stuff there. We have to go back and get it. I lost all my good stuff. Holy crap. Okay, let's heal up for a second. Give me a minute, guys. Only got one restore thing left. Okay, so I've healed up enough, so let's see if we can kind of get over here and take out these knucklehead plants real quick. Or this, this guy right there. Oh, I no, I can't. Dang it. I don't have my rocket. Oh, I'm going to have to repair. That sucks. Okay, now we can take him out. Maybe. There we go. Not sure why my rocket can't shoot straight ahead. It should have. I guess it's the little that little radar map thing. It's like it's it won't go through it. Maybe the devs need to look at that, because that's just a little hologram. We should be able to shoot our laser Do that. That shouldn't be considered a a block, you know? Like, see how it's like, we get the little crosshair. Like, I can put the crosshair up on top of the plant, but then when I come down, my lasers are crosshairing on the plants over there, but the actual beam is from the rocket is stuck on on my little radar thing. Is there a way to turn that off? Someone said I can hit L. Oh, L turns my active task off. I wonder if there's a way to turn your little little map radar from hovering. See, it's stuck right on it. That's why I have to kind of turn sideways. Oh, I see. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So if I turn si sideways, yeah, there we go. Just if we can take there we go, got that plant out of the way. Okay, let's grab all of our stuff. Somehow can't. Okay, take all that. There we go. Alright, is there somebody hiding over here? It looks like it. Okay, all I wanted to do was just get up here and go around. Man, look at all this aluminum. Go. I was trying to take a shortcut. I thought. Okay, so we just sucked up all the stuff. So look at that. There's a bridge over there. We're going to have to go over there. How do we do that? Oh. What is this thing? Okay, can we get over there from over here? Into this space, I feel like I may have actually been here. 
but I must have come from the other side over here. I think I have. Yep, I have. Okay. Dude, <laughs> he ran into the, the wall. Just pick him apart. Oh, god dang. Lasers. Oh, I remember this area now. Okay, so early on when I was exploring the snow area, I went like left instead of right, and I came across this area over here. So, that makes sense. I was kind of wondering, I was like, what the heck is going on? So I actually kind of know where I'm at a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go this way. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, what's this? What the heck is that? It's like a whole building stuck in the ground. Oh, it's got one of those logos on it. We've encountered one of these in the snow region where it had like a little symbol on it and it had some chests or something around it and that's where we found I think we found one of the special weapons over here let's get rid of this thing I feel like the whole place is booby trapped all right let's check this thing out I see a chest thing right here let's see what's inside this thing oh nice large armored wheel Man, do I have one of those? I think we have a... Might have one. It says rare. We have two of those. I'm going to have to come back, though, because we don't really have enough. Let me, can I add that ammo there? Nope. So we do have another one of these meteor guns. Meteor... There we go. So we'll have to come back for that wheel if we need it. I normally like those style of wheels. It's nice that they have armor on them. Are there any other chests over here? I do not see anything. All right, let's cruise around and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so I have looped completely around the entire swamp area and all the way back around to where we started on our little temporary little refinery base over here. And now we're going to head back to my original base and we're going to launch a rocket off and see if we can get that new mining cannon, the special mining cannon or advanced, whatever the heck it is. But it is something new. I haven't seen it before. I haven't seen anybody else mess with it either. So we're going to go get that and we're going to do that right now. So I'll see you guys back over there unless I run into something super exciting. But yeah, so far we made it all in one go. But I did actually refine all of the phosphorus, so now we have a little bit more, so that's good. But uh, anyway, all right, well, I'll see you guys over there in a second. All right, guys, made it back to our base. Missing some wheels and some parts, but I made it. And so now we can, like, repair our gun. Why is it not repairing? What the heck? Why is there parts laying around everywhere? Yo! That's weird. If I hit R, do we not? Why is he not repairing? Okay, well, all right, let's put all of our stuff up in the inventory real quick. And we'll put that there. We're going to put this chassis there, that one there. Put the gun. We may take those back over to our snow biome base. Why are these not. I, I lost my parts over here. I attacked as soon as I got by the base, and now I'm missing some parts. I don't know exactly what the heck happened with all of that, but it's good to know we can still get around on just one wheel in the front. I don't know why it's not repairing though, which is odd. Okay, well, whatever. We'll have to figure that out. Why is that not doing that? That's strange. Put our wheel back on. Do we have our... Yeah, we have our wheels underneath. We're just missing these little things which is odd i think that's it oh no we're missing a gun 
Okay. Yep. I guess that is it as far as that goes. So very strange. All right. So weird. Okay, so now let's see. We have all of the stuff we need to launch this rocket. So let's do that real quick. All right, got the power turned back on. So let's get this loaded. Okay, oh, it already loaded in. So let's take out that extra stuff and let's organize it a little bit. There we go. Put all the good stuff in this area right here. Got a couple more little silos. Okay, so now we can launch this thing. Launch away. See you later. Okay, man, that's the slowest screenshot mechanism on this game for some reason. Okay, so now we should have gotten a new reward. So let's claim our rewards. And so we have the license for the mining cannon. Okay, I claimed it. Now let's see, we also got 250 and Grava metric detector. What the heck is a Grava metric detector? Man, that's a lot of gold. I think I have all of that except for me. We may not have enough gold. Dang it, it's refined. I need 75 refined gold. Okay. So, let's take our gold over here and put it in there. All right, so while that go gold is cooking off, let's see if we can build the a mining cannon. So, looks like five silicon and copper and iron. So, s copper, iron, a copper, silicon, iron. Okay, I think I got it. So, let's make this thing. I'm curious to see what this does. It's a little work in progress. Do that. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Okay, okay, so. Let's see what this thing does. Let's just stick it right on the front. Oh my gosh. Turn it, it's huge, man. Wow, it literally, it makes the front end sag. Look at that. It's heavy. So, does it do anything? Let's put it on a, uh oh, gosh dang it. First we gotta, we gotta get attacked. Right where to go. Oh, you messed up now. You messed up. Aw, oh, dang it. That's sneaky. You even have one little gun, dude. Like, one? My, the first thing that gets blown off my vehicle is a gun. And the last thing to get blown off of yours is freaking a gun. It's crazy. Take that. Really? Good grief. Okay. Is that guy still alive over there? Okay. So, is this thing working? I can't tell. We need, we need to figure out what this little mining thing does. Let's check our key bind. Uh, okay, there it is. So, let's put this on that. Now we just have that on there. Oh, it is doing something. What is it? I can't even see it. It's so tiny. Let's find something to mine. Got to be something somewhere over here kind of uh, clean this area out. Oh, here we go. We got this stuff here. Oh, there it goes. It's, so it's like a little laser thing. Now, is it better on the resources? What is it doing? I, I can't tell what it's doing. It's like going all over the place. 
Oh. <gasps> what? What? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this game had this capability. Oh my gosh, now we can actually... Are you kidding me? Where's my... Where's my... Wait a second. This is kind of a game changer. Because now those things are loose. Can I carry one of the... Hang on. Wait a second. We, we, I, now... I was about to end the episode and now that just happened. Okay. What the heck is going on? Oh, God. Okay. So, I, I don't have another thing. Or do I? Tech yard. Yes. I do. Okay. Let's just put... That right there. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's get off. Get, what the heck? Get off there. Alright, let's get the heck over here. Turbo. I didn't realize this game even had this capability to like sculpt the land. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is crazy. I mean, I could like make a whole tunnel base now. And so now we can free up all of the ore. Look at that. It doesn't even use any... Is it? Oh, it is. It is using power. Okay. So now... I got a dang keybind again. I really wish it would just remember where... I want these. Get over there. Okay. So now can I lift... Oh my gosh. So I don't even have to break it into a fragment now. Now we can actually carry the whole entire piece because we dug it up and now I can put it into the fragmenter oh just if I got rid of my fragmenter so that's a whole chunk with a hundred percent yield see that guys that's a game changer because now we don't have to break up the rock why has nobody said anything about this thing I have not seen this anywhere so now if I want to mine up something like let's see Where's one of those aluminum ore things? Like even this. See, we cannot, we, I can't, oh, I can't pick up that one. Let's just put that over there. Sling it over there. This one we cannot pick up. It's, it's because it's stuck in the ground. So we have to fracture the rock using our laser. But with this thing, I wonder. Yeah, see now it's loose. Look at that. Now it's a hundred percent. See, I don't even think this one's a hundred, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. So I was just laying on top, I guess. So now we can find like the aluminum, which you don't really get a lot of yield from because it's super delicate for some, you know, I guess because it's aluminum. And so when you shoot with your lasers, half the time you end up destroying it because, you know, I'm usually running like a bunch of lasers, but now we can actually just grab the big old chunk of aluminum and we will get a hundred percent of the yield. If I can ever dig up from under it. So, okay. Is it loose? There it is. Look at that. That's fantastic. So now we should get a lot more resource from everything. We should get 100% of the material now. Oh my gosh. Um, camera view is wonky. So if I put this over here, that is awesome. Okay, so I, man, this is great. I had no idea. We, I need the fragmenting thing. Okay guys, so I just got my fragmenter set back up and have it feeding into two medium silos. So it just is auto filling inside of here. So we are getting some silicon from these rocks and also, it looks like we're getting a good chunk of gold. Look at look how much gold we're getting. And look how much silicon we're getting. Holy cow. So, we are getting a ton of that. And I'm not sure if we're getting the gold. Yeah, see, we're getting the gold from the silicon. And it's a whole lot more. Now, look at this. Just to so notice something. So, watch this plant right here. If we use this plant to mine. Oh, god dang, I got a little too close. <laughs> so, let's mine under the plant. Bam. Instant. Look at that. And I don't know if we get a whole lot of lithium from that. No, I just think we get one thing of lithium, so that's about normal. But look at this. 
Look, you can totally uproot an entire tree, including its roots. So, wow, this is amazing. And, and like, look at this. We can take up this tree right here and dig out all underneath it. Like this. And, like, okay. Let's get in here. That one's kind of in a weird spot, so let's go around it. Should be able to get, as soon as we get that last little bit. I mean, it doesn't even use up a lot of energy. Is it free yet? It'll topple over when it becomes free. Yeah, just that one little, little nubbin stuck in the ground. Right there it goes. And then now, oh my gosh, I can't even, can I not lift that? Oh, geez, good grief, it has broke the thing off. Got to be kidding me. If I repair, does that come back? Okay, good. I was, I was like, worried. So can we lift this thing up now? Oh my gosh, I can't lift the tree up. Are you kidding me? Wait a second. I can't, oh my gosh, we can lift the tree up. Holy cow, look at this huge thing. So we can carry the whole thing over here and throw it up there. Holy cow, look at that. Wow. Fragmenting a whole tree. Just like that. Man, that's crazy. It's doing so much that it has to, it can't, it fills the thing up so fast. So if we look inside of here, it's just topped out like completely. And so it should be filling up one of these silos like crazy. So just instantly. Wow, look at that. We, we have a ton of gold. Anything over here? So that silo is still open. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so now let's see. Well, that's amazing. All right, I'm just kind of baffled. So that's pretty cool. I love this thing now. This is my new favorite little gadget now. Right on my head. What the heck? All right, that's, that's just not what I wanted. Okay, just blew off half my stuff there. Put all that back on there. So... Nice. Well, we just discovered something, so now I need to get more gold. And then we can launch this rocket off. I think that is where we'll probably pick up on the next episode. I think it's a good stopping point here. I have 31 out of 75. I have all the rocket fuel, and I have all the refined silicon. And this is going to get us the... Where is it at? Let's see. We are looking to get... The license for the grav gravimetric detector. I don't know what that is, guys. So, gravimetric? Uh, do we have a gravity thing? Is that what that means? I don't know. So, yeah. All right. Well, cool. Well, this was a crazy little episode. I didn't. That was a uh, crazy turn of events at the very end. So, I'm going to sit and mine a little bit more of the silicon to get some gold so that we can launch and get that thing. And then we'll open up the next episode with launching a rocket off and getting the gravimetric doodad thing. <laughs> Gizmo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, yeah. Well, you guys let me know what you think in the comments about everything. And if you know any other special locations or anything that you want to hint that I should go check out. Don't spoil it for me. I just, it's like fun finding out all these things. And then we'll get ourselves ready and equipped with this new weapon that we haven't even had a chance to look at yet. We have to go put this on our super battle mech. I don't think it's worth putting on this guy, but we'll explore this thing in the next episode also, wherever it's at. Let's go to weapons. So we now have the uh, here it is, the Meteor Turret. So just to get a close look up at that. Yeah, all right, so that's a new weapon for us. And holy cow, that is instantly making us overheat. And that sucker is 16 on the reactor load. Holy moly. It does a good amount of damage, but it is cooking me. So, all right, so we'll have to see if we can squeeze that onto some machine. I'm not sure if that's even going to go on to our super battle mech uh, because he's already at its, you know, it's already at its limits and I'm not sure if we'll be able to put this on, but 
we'll have to check it out. So I don't know. That's going to be cool to, to look at. So anyway, all right. Well, um, I appreciate you guys and you uh, leave me some comments and some feedback on what you think and let me know what you think about this crazy new thing. You know, I mean, look at that. We can actually literally sculpt the ground with this thing and like flatten out an area. That's pretty awesome. I know exactly where I can use this at our base over in the snow area because I have some blocks that just won't get, I can't put on the ground uh, exactly very well. But anyway, um, yep, all right, so uh, <laughs> keep getting distracted. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell notification to see more content like this because I'm posting daily on this game and I have some other games that I'm posting on as well. So make sure you check out those. And if you're a Sunken Land fan, they just came out with a crazy update with that. So check out that game, and I'm going to be doing some coverage of that. And with that, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode.